Here we go, 2019 collection time, and we will be going through the A's today. Everything's ready to go. I've got the prices for everything as well. There's a couple of things that aren't going to be in here, like a couple of my marvels, but I will try and give you the prices as well as we go, simply because they're being borrowed by people, and you know they're going to be expensive anyway. But let's get this started and get it out of the way as quick as we can so you don't fall asleep. First we have the A-Team. I actually quite enjoyed this. When you can pick this up for 50p at CEX right now, how can you say fairer than that? Next, we have AI, Artificial Intelligence. Now, remember, see him. Wow, he looks bad now. He's got fat and bold. Well, yeah, he's not at all. But this has still cost you £5 at CEX. That's the cheapest I've found it. It's kind of freaked me out a bit. I just like the cover on this next one. It's like a gorilla, a, a bloke on zipping into a gorilla. It's, a gorilla. it's really weird. It's called Ah. Cheap as I found this was uh, three pounds seventy nine. A music bagpipe. Got no idea what it's about. It's just weird. But there you go. Abduction. I don't know. I don't like this guy out of Twilight, but um, you're only talking a pound for that at CX at the moment. About time, a bit mushy mushy. Again, only a pound right now. I love the Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I have this as a steel book and this is a 3D version. Still gonna cost you about £2.50 at the moment. Then the slightly more obscure Abraham Lincoln versus Zombies. Still £2 as well. But that's a bit rarer that one. Love Simon Pegg. You're looking at £2.50 CEX for this. It is bloody funny. That's a really good one. Look, the Python cast is in it as well. They, they're the voiceovers for the aliens. Ab Fab next. £1.50. So that's really come down in price actually. But it's quite funny. In amongst these I do have some of these National Geographics as well. So we're looking at Axis 360. Um, this is a uh, Worldwide Heritage basically. And it's a special. That's £2 at CEX right now. It's the cheapest I've found that. I want to get as many of those as I can because I like to have some educational stuff in here as well. You know what I mean? Axe of Valor next. Good action. Only a pound. Can't say fairer than that. And that was CEX again. I'll tell you what I'll do as well. I'll only tell you if it's somewhere else. If it is somewhere else. So if I don't mention it, it's CEX. All right. We're looking at admission next. Yep, that is Ant Man himself at two pounds at CEX right now. And I'll say CEX again. Adulthood next is part of the trilogy, £2.50. Adventureland, that's funny. I like this one. Only £1.50 right now. Love this. What this is the first 3D title I ever bought when I had a real crappy £500 3D TV. It really didn't show off its active glass because it was crap. But this looks amazing on my new TV. Uh, currently £4 for the 3D version. Another nature one. We're looking at three quid for Africa Serengeti at the moment. So, you know, getting a higher price. Then we have Disney's version with African cats. You're looking at two pounds again. Afterlife. Like the, um, the old Liam Neeson's in the shit at the moment. Anyway, with what he's been saying about race. Three pounds at CX at the moment. This is an evil one. I've seen this. Um, this is two pounds 89 at Music Magpie right now. Um, there's some brutal shit in that. Another one of my favourites from my other half. She loves Sean Bean. We're only talking a pound for Age of Heroes right now. And another one she loves. What's his name? Uh, Garrett, uh, Martin Kemp. 50p for Age of Kill. Age of Dragons. You're only looking at one pound fifty. Looks quite cool. I think Danny Glover's in that one. The aggression scale, you're only talking 50p. Alan Carr, I want to get more stand-up. I've got probably got about 20 stand-up total now, so I want to keep going. Because they are quite cheap, but that's quite funny. You can't say better than 50p, really, can you? Uh, this is the Alan Partridge uh, Alpha Papa, but this one has got the DVD, the Blu-ray, and it's got the soundtrack all in one, so it's a bit thicker. Uh, this is £3 on eBay right now. Alex Cross, never actually watched this one yet, but it's only a pound. Love this, Alice in Wonderland, the 3D version, three pound at the moment. And then we get into the absolute bloody classics. We have Alien, 
this has got a 40th anniversary uh, 4K release coming soon. Uh, if you check my Facebook page out, you will also see the steelbook looks absolutely beautiful. £2.50 for that one. Now, this is my favourite one, of course, Aliens. £3 at the moment. I know you can get the anthology cheaper, you know, but I like them separate. Then we've got Alien 3, £1.50. I actually enjoyed that. It was like I was most disappointed there's no guns, but it doesn't have to be. You know, it's all about how you tell the story. That's probably the worst of them, Alien Resurrection, but that's only a pound. But Sigourney Weaver was still hard as nails in it. Alien Covenant. I haven't watched it yet. But he's still talking £6 for this at the moment. So I've got to, I've got to get me uh, goggles on and watch that one. Alien vs Predator. Loved it. But, yeah, it's gone back up. I got this for 50p, but it's £3.50 again now. Then we've got Alien vs Predator 2 Requiem. Have not watched it yet. Let me know if I'm missing something. But it's £2.50. Alien Abduction. I love some of these tacky ones. But you're only talking a pound for him. Then we have Alien Infiltration. Looks like a made-for-TV movie, if you ask me. But only a pound. Next we have Aliens in the Attic. I thought that's quite funny. Only a quid. Robert Redford. There can't be much that, that, that he's in that ain't, that ain't good. So £1.50 for that one. All Stars. Not watched it yet, but for 50p I'm going to put it in my collection, aren't I? All the Boys Love. Mandy Lane. Still haven't watched it. Only a pound. All the King's Men. That's two ninety nine on eBay right now. But you can't really say bad when you've got Sean Penn and Jude Law and, and Kate Winslet and James Gandolfini and Anthony Hopkins and Mark Ruffalo. That's a cast you don't sniff at for $2.99. This one, I picked this up for about £4. But right now, it's not listed. I've got a feeling this has been you know, out of print. Because the cheapest I found this is £18.99 on eBay. And that's all the President's Men, Dustin Hoffman, Robert Redford. It's a bloody classic film. I don't understand why why it's, it's gone up so much, but if you can find it cheaper, all the better to you. Do you know I haven't watched these this trilogy yet, but Allegiance four pounds forty eight on eBay. That's the cheapest I've found it right now. Almost famous. Still haven't watched it, but only a pound. Can't be bad. I love it. Alpha and Omega. They're really cool. But you're talking the 50 pence for the first one, and I think it's £1.50 for the second. So, yeah, it can't be too bad. Alpha Dog, you're only talking a pound right now. Let me know if you've seen that one. And this is probably one of the cheapest uh, pieces of crap that I've never even watched, but Football Manager Documentary and a, an alternative reality. That's why it's in the A's. For 50p, I'm going to get it, aren't I? Altitude, this is one I do want to watch but just haven't got round to it yet. £1.50 for that right now. Then we have the absolute classics. They are classics. Alvin and the Chipmunks, you're talking 50p. The Squeakwall, you're talking a pound. <laughs> the third one is a Chipwrecked, you're talking a pound. And then we have the Rogue Chip and you're only talking a pound. So for entertaining the kids alone, you're, you're laughing already, aren't you? Then we have, get ready for this one, The Amazing Adventures of the Living Corpse. Yeah, £2. You can pick up the 3D version of this for like £2.50 off the Mama Wex site in Germany. The price has been creeping up on that though. But if you take a look at it, it looks weird as hell. So, but yeah, I'm definitely going to give that a go. Uh, we have, what would come before this is The Amazing Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2 in 3D. But they're out with somebody at the moment. So you can pick up the Amazing Spider-Man 3D for only £1.50 right now at CEX. And Amazing Spider-Man 2 in 3D for £2. That's a good investment. I really do think that. Then your Amazon 3D. Currently, that's, only, that's £3. It's cheapest at CEX right now. Another National Geographic. You're talking £2 for America's Wild States. America's Wild States. I've kept this. Because it's George Clooney, but one of the most boring films I've ever seen in my life, The American. What a pile of shit. Even though that's 50p, I wouldn't recommend anyone buy that one. And I don't say that often. 
three pound fifty for American Beauty. I only got it because space is in it in the old controversy, but yeah, I'm liking it bending as well actually. So that's quite cool. Next we have American Evil. Now this is listed under about three different names, but I've kept it under the American Evil. Uh, but you can you can pick it up for like a pound. So not too bad right now. Let me just shift my pile all over here. I just know this has come crashing down as soon as I stop this video. Denzel Washington, American Gangster. You know it's a classic. You know he's amazing. That's only £1.50. For a film of that calibre, that's gobsmacking. Then another good one, and we have American Hustle, only a pound now. American Made. We're only looking at £4, so not too bad. And, you know, I love Tom Cruise anyway. American Mary for £2.50 right now. They're all still at CEX, we're talking there. The absolute classic American Pie. The good follow-up, American Pie 2, £2. American Pie of the Wedding. The only funny bit is where the pubes get blown out of the air conditioning, in my opinion. But it's only a pound. And the absolutely scandalously disappointing American Reunion for £1. But, as everyone knows, if you're a completionist, you've got to have them. I mean, I've got Jaws 1, 2, 3 and 4. 3 and 4 are a pile of shit, but you're going to have all four. Next we have a classic with Christian Bale, American Psycho, £3.90 on eBay, and I liked it because of the dark case as well, so that's why I'd have that. I think there is a 4K version sniffing around as well, but I haven't got that. But £3.90. American Sniper with Bradley Cooper, £2.49 at Music Magpie right now. Classic film. American Ultra, this is a weird one. I watched it and I was like, okay. I think I'll enjoy it more the second time because it's, it's kind of weird, but three pounds you're looking at at the moment. I like Jesse Eisenberg. Absolutely scandalous pile of shit. We're looking at American Virgin, only a pound. But it's going along that same lines as American Pie. You've got to have them. Bit of Dolph Lundgren, I think. It looks like him. Maybe not. It's more like Jason Statham, actually. America, Amsterdam Heavy for a pound. It's all bloody guts for fighting, isn't it? Amy, the classic documentary. This woman died so young, it's ridiculous. But I don't have sympathy for somebody. So, oh, boo-hoo, I've got millions of pounds and I'm successful. I might as well kill myself. I mean, what are the fucking bollocks? Don't stick half of the cocaine capital up, you know. It's just because you're famous. It's bloody stupid. I don't have sympathy when that happens. But, wow, what a voice. Two pounds you're looking at that at the moment. Then we have An Idiot Abroad. Series 1, 2 and 3, you're talking 50p for Series 1, a pound for Series 2 and about £3.50 for Series 3. But these are hilarious. I recommend those to anybody. An Education. I haven't actually seen this one yet, but for 50p you're laughing. Angels and Demons. I just picked this up as a steelbook as you saw in my last video. But 50p for the original. You just can't argue with that. Angela's Share, another British one. We're looking at £3 for this. This was 50p when I got it. So I don't know what's going on with this. Maybe the director's got some other films coming out. But for £3, not sure I would push it to that. A classic film of our times. Angry Birds in 3D, of course. £3 at CEX right now. Animal Kingdom, you're only talking 50p. Now there's some good people in that. And they call it the Australian answer to Goodfellas. Don't know about that. But for 50p, are you willing to find out? Animals United. Now, when I saw this, I thought to myself, before I watched it, oh, it looks tacky. But this is bloody funny. And it's quite well done. For £1.50 in 3D, in my opinion, well worth it. And uh, Karen, and, 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 uh, the likelihood of me watching this is, uh, yeah, not probably. But for 50p, I'm going to add it to my collection. I will go on record as saying, yes, Annabelle is worth £3, even as an extra rental. But the second one, I wouldn't even use as a fire lighter. Oh, that second. Annabelle Creation is a pile of shit. I bought it day one as well. But that is worth it. Annabelle is worth it. But you're looking at £3 still. Annie, £1.50 at the moment. I want to get the original as well, just so I've got both. And this one was remastered in 4K, so the picture quality is actually quite good. It doesn't mean it's 4K, it means they took the negative of it, if you get my drift. The Anomaly, anom 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 £2 at CEX right now. Started to say CEX again, aren't I? Anonymous. 
You're talking 50p. You know? I mean, Reese Evans is in this, you know it. Vanessa Redgrave, I mean, and Derek Jacobi. That's a hell of a good names for 50p. It's worth a gamble. It really is. Another Earth. I'd say get on YouTube and check out the, the trailer for this one because it's quite intriguing. But for £3, that's worth picking up in my opinion. For 50p, you can't not have Ant Bully. That's a bloody classic. It's funny as hell. Really is worth it in my opinion. And we have another Nature one here. £3.13 at CEX. I don't know why I put £3.13, but it might have actually been eBay I saw it at. So I might have just got it at eBay it's a bit cheaper. That's why I put that, but it's worth it. This one, another hood. I was thinking to myself, oh, well, I'll give it a go. It's cheap. I got it for 50p. Back up to 199 at the moment at CEX, or £2, say. But why? It's because they're doing a sequel. So I can't wait to see that. This is funny as hell. The, the, the main drug dealer in this kick your ass is so funny. Apartment 1303 in 3D. Nice bit of thrillery horror for £1.50. Any any 3D films worth one fifty in my opinion. Apocalypse 2, this is bloody brutal. Anyone who's seen this, do you agree? £1.50, that's worth it. It's Mel Gibson as well. Absolute sodden classic for three quid of Apollo 13. I mean, what a film. Can't knock, can't knock that one. A little bit of horror on the same genre. Apollo 18 for £1.50. This used to be 50p, so some of these prices are going up again. Appalooza, one fifty again. Nice westerns. I want to collect more westerns. Like, like I said, my horror is lacking. And I'm starting to bump it up. Like, I mean, films like Apparition for a pound. I've, I've been starting to really punch these up now. But Arachnoquake for £1.50, that was 50p when I got it. So again, some of these, well, I hate to say dire films, but made for TV looking pieces of shit, in my opinion. Their prices are going up, and I don't think they can justify it. Now, the British one, the Arbor, this cost me a pound, but it's gone up to four. So again, something must be happening with the director of this, so there must be having something new come out. Haven't watched it yet. Are we there yet? It isn't out on Blu-ray in the UK, which really pisses me off. Because are we done yet? It is, and you can pick it up for 50p. I want the first one. Samuel Jackson. There's a black man in the film. It's normally Samuel Jackson. Arena's only a pound. Looks okay. Before Ben Affleck fell off the old wagon. Argo, what a film. And for a pound, you can't really say better than that. A lot of people hate this. I love Armageddon, and the fact that it's gone up to five quid now, and the cheapest you can find it, testament to the quality, if you ask me. Brilliant film. Uh, Lawrence Fishbone's good in this. 50p for Armored. It's a good film, that. And the wanker of the moment, Armstrong. The Armstrong lie. Only a pound, but oh, the shit this guy got away with. Nicholas Cage. This is some funny shit. Army of One. That is Funny, well worth it. Taking on the, the Taliban all that by himself. Then we have on Knights Templar, only a pound. Like I say, when in my, some of my earlier videos, I really wanted to get into some of the old um, medieval hack and slash because, of course, Game of Thrones. Remember, people, April 14th, it's back. Art of Flight. I just love the visuals on these, but 50p, you're laughing. I've been getting a few more uh, arty farty, is the only way I put them. I'm not a cultured person, you know. But this cost me a pound, and it's, it's four pounds as cheap as you can get it now. The art of getting by. So, some things are happening in the old art section. Arthur, classic film for 50p. I really want the original Dudley Moore ones at some point as well. Art, what's this? Arthur and the Great Adventure. Good visuals on this, but a bit cheap looking. £1.50 at the moment. I love R for Christmas and to have it in 3D. It's gone up again. This cost me like a quid, but it's gone up to £3.50 in 3D now. You can pick up the original for between 50p and a pound, but it's worth getting in 3D, it really is. The Artist, 50p. A classic looking film. The dog in it died about a year ago, so he's no longer with us. 
but I think you have to be slightly cultured to enjoy that one. As I said, am I cultured? Another horror, as above, so below, £2.50. Another Danny Dyer, Assassin. I quite enjoyed that, Not definitely worth a quid. Assassin's Creed 3D. This is £4.93 on Music Magpie, and I wish I'd bought it there because I don't know if you can see it, but the actual cover, slightly hazy, is one of the reprints off of uh, CEX. Now they have to put reprint in the corner, so it looks even worse, but I'm glad they didn't. But the discs are definitely original. For £4.93 3D, that's worth it. Another one of Bruce Willis's films, Assassination, that's what keeps his bills paid for £1.50. The, the Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford. Ah, oh, that title. £3. Brad Pitt stuff's going up in price. The Assembly. There's some brutal fights in this. One ninety nine at Music Magpie right now. Astro Boy, I love this. Uh, Nicholas Cage does the father's voiceover in this. It is bloody good and it? it's so colourful. Definitely worth the pound it cost me. Series one of Atlantis. I bought this one for one fifty, and somebody sent me the second one, and that's that's a pound at CEX right now. But it's part one, so part two. I don't even know if they've released it yet, so I have to look that one up. Atomic Blonde, £3.58 at Music Magpie right now. If I'm honest, it, the advert makes it look a hell of a lot better than it actually is. Yes, the fights are quite visceral, but I don't think the storyline is put together very well. That's just my opinion. Attack of the Werewolves. Yeah, some classic shit there. £1.50. Attack on Leningrad. One of those inspired by my mate Anthony who loves World War. And you're talking £2.50 at the moment. Now the horror, the Atticus Institute, two pounds at the moment. Anything with Mel Streeping, I'll try and get. So for fifty p, August or Sarge County. This is surprising me because he's he's finished the script for the fourth one now, so they're just looking to get the movie started filming. Austin Powers, I I have had the first one, but I sold it on, and I will get it again. But the spy who shagged me. Cheap as you'll find that one out, eight quid. Yeah, that surprised me and all. Then we do have gold member, that's three pounds. The one thing I will say is you can pick up the steel book for the spy who shagged me on Zavi for eight ninety nine at the moment. And remember it is the fifth like, of February right now, so that's worth getting. Australia, a bit of Hugh Jackman for fifty P, you can't really go wrong there. Automata one fifty. Come on, watch that. And we have the original disc version of Avatar. You're looking at about £2.78 off Music Magpie right now. If you're going to go for the 3D version, always look for the promotional use Panasonic copy, okay? Promotional use, all right? Always look for that. And it will say Panasonic exclusive up there. Why? Because Panasonic needed to make this their TVs look amazing with this. This is going to be encoded to within an inch of its life. Yeah, it's going to be the absolute perfect 3D copy it could possibly be. So always go for that release, right? And I do have the special edition of this. Um, someone's borrowed it. It's a bigger case, bigger cardboard case, and that's five pounds at the moment. So is this. Definitely worth the investment. And the last two we have is Awakening. That's 150 at CEX right now. Um, just to give you a reiteration, because obviously before this would have been the Avenger films. Right now you can get Avengers in 3D, which is what I have, for £3.89 on Music Magpie. That's worth it. Avengers 2 Age of Ultron, £5.95 on eBay is the cheapest I've found it. And then we have Infinity War. Still £12, but CEX. Oh my god, come on. What's happening in April? It's, you've got to have all three of these films in place. Come on. And lastly... Away days for one pound and fifty pence. That concludes my A's. So some prices have gone up, some prices have gone down, some prices are just cheap anyway. If there's anything in there you like, I mean consider adding it to your collections. The only thing I'll say about the majority of it being from CX, just remember they will charge you one pound fifty for each item they post. So when you go on their website, you can select a specific store's stock so if you've got a store near you you can check all their stock before you walk in there 
that's what I do. When I go in there, I've got a list of what I want, when I want it, and I know what they've got in. It saves me bullshitting around. That's how you make make your way. You know what you're trading in, you know what you're gonna get, you know what you're gonna buy. Don't just go in there blind because it never works out. But enjoy, I hope you enjoyed the video. 48 hours where we're hitting the bees. There's a lot of bees. And it's a lot of uh, work to get these prices up, but I'm enjoying it. Any comments will be gladly welcomed. We're just under half an hour for this video, so I really appreciate it if you stuck with me for this one. And we look forward to Friday for the draw as well. But I will be seeing you again this Thursday with my bees. Take care now.